Hey all, uh, welcome to this week's uh, governance call. Uh, it's the 12th governance call from NFTX and you hear a different voice in the intro because I'm covering for Finesse Boy uh, this week. Uh, it's Chop speaking. Uh, basically, uh, I'll do a quick intro on what we're gonna cover and then I'll also continue doing the week in review because that's the first thing on the agenda. Um, so this week, the agenda is uh, rather light. Uh, if you feel there's any topics that we left out, feel free to like uh, ask questions on them or uh, like uh, just interrupt me whenever I speak uh, so that we can cover every point that's uh, on people's mind. Uh, I'll just I'll just start with uh, the week in review unless uh, Alex, you want to say anything. Uh, I'll just continue. Um no, I think I think I'm good. Um, I'm just pretty busy writing test cases for Kiwi this week, um, and yeah, so that's fun. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I'll just I'll just continue. Yeah, just continue. Speaking. Yeah. If this if this looks like a monologue, just interrupt me, please, with questions. Okay, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so the uh, yeah, la as part of this governance call, I always go through the week in review, uh, which is a, a a format on our blog that comes back every Monday this week. It was actually on Tuesday because uh, some people took holidays for Easter, including myself. Uh, so we had a slight delay, uh, but the format's still the same. Uh, I run through all the topics that uh, like are focused on the NFTX ecosystem. The blog post also has a lot of topics uh, looking at the broader NFT uh, sector, so like what happened in the NFT scene, it's fairly uh, like useful to stay up to date uh, on what happened without having to be on Twitter every day. Uh, so the first and biggest topic uh, of, or not actually not the biggest topic uh, of this week in review is additional NFTX faults being created by community. So we've seen four additional faults being spawned last week, uh, one being Punk Bodies. It's like a crypto punk uh, yeah, project that is uh, putting bodies on crypto punk heads. It's kind of cool, uh, especially if you already own the crypto punk. Uh, then there's Solos, uh, Dev Beef, and POW, uh, which uh, stands for Proof of Work, uh, which is uh, like an online mining NFT, which uh, all very cool. And it's cool to see that we keep getting traction on community spawned funds. I'm still in talks with a couple uh, other funds that are looking to be uh, using NFTX, either integrated in their own platform or using our uh, front end. So that's, uh, that's great. Uh, and then speaking about the front end, uh, last week's Week in Review actually covered uh, an upcoming refresh of the user interface for NFTX, uh, which happened to be released a couple hours ago. Uh, so Nick will take you through all the details on what this product actually allows you to do. Uh, and also what the plan, like the, like the uh, plan is for rolling out additional features and uh, like getting it complete. Um, that's the main thing that was covered in the week in review. Uh, then there's just a topic on the agenda before I'm going to pass it over to Nick, which is the time slot for this call. Uh, so last week there was some confusion on when is the actual time uh, this call happens because the time zone switched uh, to summertime. Uh, it's still at 16 UTC, so uh, like universal time, uh, which didn't change. Uh, so if you uh, go to our forums and uh, add the calendar invite to your calendar. Uh, you should always have the right time and also the link to the meeting. Uh, so that's it for me uh, until I go into governance. Then I think Nick, uh, can you take it over for the product? Yeah, sure. So um, today we had a big day with uh, the front end. Uh, we've got our uh, first phase of our new rollout of the front end live which is uh on the minter so if you head to app.nftx.org you can see uh, what that's all about um basically what we've done is we've like hugely simplified the process so if you've used nftx.org you probably had like a few pain points on the way i know i did when i was uh, minting hash mass. um what we've done here is basically remove as many of those pain points as possible and just make it so that uh, you visit the page 
uh, we see what um, what assets you have available to mint, and you can just go ahead and mint them and see the values that you'll be minting. Um, if you're not sure why you would mint an NFT uh, to NFTX, then we've updated the documentation. So uh, if you want to learn a bit more about like a high level view of NFTX, uh, head to docs.nftx.org. Um, and yeah, that's the minting side done. Uh, we're going to take the same approach and apply it to the redeem and create vault uh, functions, uh, as well as like a managed vault view. Uh, so people who create vaults can easily manage and set parameters and uh, change uh, values on their vaults from this new front end. Uh, that's all happening this month. So uh, the redeem function will be next. Uh, relatively straightforward. So we're hoping that's done within the next couple of weeks and then the uh, create vault uh, soon after that. Um, obviously we then have the V2 contracts that are coming. So next steps will be integrating those. And yeah, we've now got like the infrastructure set up where we can ship really quickly on these things. So the moment those contracts are ready, we can start integrating them and, and um, adding features. So in the meantime, if you've Got any feedback we would love to hear it just head over to app.nftx.org have a play and if uh, there's any suggestions or anything you want to see added uh, just drop us a message in discord or use our canary uh, i think it's nftx.canary uh, sorry canny.io uh, nftx.canny.io and you can send feature requests that way as well nope yeah i just want to jump in and say that i love it um and it's, it looks awesome and um, yeah, great job to all you guys. Um, I know it's not easy like rolling this out while we're also working on the V2 protocol, but it's um, it seems like you guys have just done everything right. So that's great. Feedback so far has been very good. So it's, um, yeah, I'm hoping it stays that way, but uh, yeah, always looking to improve. So any, any thoughts? Mm -hmm. over? Yeah, sweet. Uh, who's talking? Ah, Jeffrey. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, just want to add that uh, after all those front ends, I think we're also focusing on uh, like a more educational site, uh, right? Like which we call internally the marketing web page. Uh, but it's also uh, like gonna make it more appealing uh, for people that don't know too much about crypto and all that yeah. stuff. Like uh, give a bit more t uh, like a. Uh, Eli five explanations on what NFTX actually is uh, and is valuable for. Yeah, we'll tie off with that. So yeah, the, the one thing I missed there was at the very end, um, the mm -hmm. NFTX.org app will be uh, like deprecated and that will be replaced with like a whole new front end for explaining more about us um, and why you might use NFTX and the kind of people that benefit from it. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, this is great. This is great to see because yeah, um, like I built that whole MVP so, um, you know, the fact that you guys are producing legit stuff, it means we're on the right track. Hmm. Get off nice. my MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Should I move ahead with uh, with a uh, grant proposal? Or uh, does anyone have questions regarding the project or product? Guess not. I'll just continue with uh, like a, a proposal I pushed on the forum this morning, uh, which is regarding a grant for a team uh, which called themselves Hype uh, with double Y. Uh, it's a social platform built by a couple of like very early NFT exporters uh, and investors, uh, and they're now looking to build essentially a, like a social discovery. Uh, product uh, for like end users uh, similar to what like you, you could probably compare it mostly to combination of Instagram and Pinterest, I guess, uh, but then for NFTs. Um, so they've been working on the MVP uh, uh, quite a few weeks already, and it's already has its designs uh, and I've worked together with them to offer uh, like, like, like build a proposal uh, to get a grant, uh, which would mean that the DAO treasury would uh, like give them a grant in return of tokens, uh, which would be then distributed to NFTX holders and the DAO also being a holder uh, kind of makes sense uh, in that sense. Uh, plus, 
uh, them integrating NFTX after the MVP is launched. So I hoped Scott would be here uh, <laughs> because <laughs> Scott uh, has a lot of answers on this, like Scott Lewis, who is also uh, helping out NFTX. Um, yeah, I also have a bit of answers, but I'd rather have them answer them. So I'll just take this to the forum uh, because there's a couple of questions already asked there. Uh, I've asked them to answer those uh, so that there's more context. Like if the, if anybody has any questions or concerns or ideas for the uh, for the platform, please uh, raise your voice either here or on the forum, uh, either today or tomorrow. Uh, and we'll like pick it up from there. Uh, I will probably help them out a little at the start if they manage to get a grant, uh, like from a positioning and marketing uh, and communication, like community building point of view, uh, but only if they like get a grant from the NFTX ecosystem, because otherwise mm -hmm. it makes no sense. Uh, so yeah. Can I jump in here real quick? Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, sorry, I had myself muted before. Um, yeah, I think that, so I think like Scott's been working on this. Um, I think it's a pretty cool opportunity. Um, mm -hmm. There's definitely like a, a huge demand uh, for like a, a tool like this, um, like a NFT powered Instagram type thing. I think there'll be a lot of projects trying to compete on that, but you know, Scott's a real insider. Um, and I think there's a chance that they can pull it off. Um, I think it, it's a great uh, like sub project for NFTX basically. Uh, so that we, you know, we would implicitly be kind of be like the governing body, um, mm -hmm. or at least a, a large portion of it. So, um, yeah, I think that this is something that Scott's been working on for a while. Too bad he's not here to talk about it a bit, but um, I think that it's uh, it's pretty exciting for us, um, and it's nice that we can finally like talk about this in the open because, um, yeah, Scott mentioned it to me a little while ago, um, but. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we still have to like officially pass it, but um, and so hopefully that happens. Yep. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. Again, just to close it down, like if anybody has questions, uh, in addition to the questions that are already listed, please, uh, please just list them uh, additionally on the forum, and uh, the team will get back to you. Uh, unless, unless, unless Scott manages to join the call still. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think I know, I know, I know. He three tries to, but, it's, uh... um, but yeah, it's it's cool. Um, have like, there's no like prototype that's been shared, is there? No, no, okay. not yet. Uh, I've I've seen a couple like uh, UI sketches, uh, which they're working on, but they rather not share because they also want to kind of keep a competitive advantage, mm -hmm. which makes sense in this scene. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. Try, you gotta trust me on this that it looks dope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't yeah. really say more than uh, than that. Um, yeah, I think I think that's about it for the agenda. Um, if there's any other topics, uh, please. I'll, I'll just I'll just say quickly that yeah, yeah. everything with V two for protocol is still kind of chugging along. The plan is we're hoping to like mostly finish up development this week. Um, and then like book a code arena for later this month, which is kind of similar to like a competitive bug bounty in place of an audit. Um, so I think we're still on track for like launching hopefully um, early next month. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That's nice. Uh, cool. Uh, great. Cool, cool, cool. I think if, if nobody else has any like topics to discuss or raise uh, that sums up this week's Governor's call. Qu quickly about the Fuse proposal. Oh, yeah. So uh, I drafted uh -huh. a, a proposal to publish on the Rary Governance Forum. Yeah. I think we are looking for a few technical details about Oracle or price valuation of the NFT equivalent. Mm -hmm. But that looks uh, promising and their community looks uh, really supporting about that. So I'm uh, optimist about it. Yeah, 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 that's great. Uh, I, I uh, linked a uh, outstanding question in the like the chat you and I are in uh, on this like uh, technical aspect on uh, price oracle. Uh, I'm not sure if we need a price oracle because we're only on the decks. Uh, I'll, I'll 
let them answer like on what the actual benefit is to set that up. Uh, if we do have to set it up, I'm not sure, Alex, uh, do you know how much time it takes? Um, is that something for, like for the chain link price feed? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So my question to Theo is like, if we're only trading on an AMM, is there still benefit to having um, like an Oracle price feed? And I don't know, honestly. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe it's something we should, we can talk about um of this together call. like we're definitely yeah, yeah. open to it yeah mm -hmm. yeah 100 percent uh so so i i pushed the question back basically to uh rary uh and we'll pick it up from there uh does that make sense yeah perfect let's keep it simple great yeah the proposal's great thanks for drafting that by the way uh and scott scott is here yeah i saw scott jump in He's just muted um he might not know Hey y'all. Uh, Yo man. Hey Scott. How's it going? Good, good. good. So basically we, we already talked yeah. a bit about yeah. yeah. About uh, uh it did the um is the is the proposal live? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh the draft proposal is on the forum. Uh and there's a couple questions uh coming from the community uh regarding like uh What's the project look like? What's the MVP like? And uh, token token on mix also. Um, yeah, so like uh, I'll probably jump on the forum after this call um, mm -hmm. and and write down some answers. But um, the project in general is sort of uh, how do you share your <laughs> NFT Screen. collection? like with um your friends and your community um and like i think right now it's kind of easy to do it if you have a large twitter following right you can just like talk to all your followers about what nfts you own and why you bought them and like other you know people that you know in the space can kind of reply to you and say, hey, that's really cool. Like, oh, I've been looking to get one of those, you know, and you kind of like have access to this um, kind of like interpersonal moment where you can like, you know, establish like similarities, like signal who you are as a person and also um, like just establish connections with other people around like these these things that you're collecting or buying or admire or like, um, and, but like, obviously NFTs are a lot bigger than everyone that is like a KOL on Twitter. Right. And so kind of one of the ideas is that, Hey, like everyone that owns NFTs and is like collecting them and is like supporting artists, um, they, they want th this experience is cool and it's good and like it should be something that like is is broadly available um and so that's kind of like the the why of of why kind of this like collecting sharing social um open source platform we think should exist um and then the second one sort of like what's the mvp um it's going to be like we're definitely going with sort of like um like as lean as possible um kind of shipments um like the first one will be very much like a proof of concept um and then uh sort of the the second release will have some more features but you know still sort of like alpha and just like something to get your feet wet with and then um you know as like as we get into it, probably by like the third big update, it'll start to look more like something you might consider a beta. Um, and so it's it's going to be like a very like user centric, like um, like iterative approach um, to kind of kind of sh shipping shipping updates and figure out what people like about what was shipped, getting feedback, iterating um, the product based on that. Um, also, kind of like kind of like really being enmeshed with like the NFT, NFTX community and being part of the NFTX uh, ecosystem and kind of being like 
sort of like an overlapping open org. Um, and then the third question, the tokenomics, um, this is still very much a, um, this is still very much a uh, kind of an open question. And um, we're gonna be iterating and taking feedback and looking at different things. Um, one, one thing that seems like interesting um, is kind of like OTC NFT um, trading. Um, and it seems like there's like a bit of a matchmaking problem or a, a, like a meet and greet problem um, between NFT owners um, and that might want to sell and people that might want to buy them, um, especially for smaller series. Um, and yeah, so things like, like, uh, like atomic transactions um, will be like, will be something that the kind of the, the network uh, and the protocol can like provide extra value for its users um, that would kind of like, that could tokenize nicely. We're not wedded to that idea right now, um, but yeah. Cool. That's one option. Uh, I think, uh, uh, before anyone else like asks a question, Oranges uh, is also on this call, and he asked some questions uh, on the like on the to tokenomic side of things. There is a part where we speak about um, like distribution towards NFTX holders, uh, but with the like the DAO Treasury also being a like I think the largest NFTX holder, uh, maybe the like the, the the pool itself is actually I don't know um like do we or is it the intent to airdrop to only like nftx holders exclude excluding the treasury or also include the treasury um yeah so one thing that we want is we want like or one kind of like the vision for like the alignment is that we want very strong economic alignment with the nftx community and the nftx open org um so that uh it it feels like another nftx project to people yeah. um but we want this project we want like alignment but not control and so mm -hmm. i think it's really important that the uh that the that the token supply it, when it's distributed it kind of has a good jenny and what i would want to just because the nftx dao owns so much nftx um that if nftx dow had such a large stake in hype they would pr the nftx dow would kind of probably be able to basically run and govern the hype dow and so i'm i'm sort of like trying to make it so everyone that's in nftx is also in hype but it's not like um it's mm -hmm. not like a dominance relationship yeah, yeah. I think that's more scalable if like I'm, I'm hoping that kind of this model might um, might inspire other projects to sort of take this like economic alignment and really really grow the NFTX community and kind of the movement that we're all sort of like bootstrapping together. Cool. Cool. Um... Yeah, another like uh, I'll, I'll just continue asking questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like being an NFTX ecosystem product, uh, is there is there already like a plan post MVP on integrating NF NFTX as a protocol uh, within the product, or is that all like penciled in but not really uh, planned? Uh, I would I would say definitely penciled in but not planned mm -hmm. um because like really the sort of like when we're talking about sort of like a user-centric approach like our the main goal is to like make something people really want and something that like makes people the users lives better and like figuring out how exactly to put nftx into the product um is kind of like once the users are there, figuring how it works within that is, yeah. is really important. But um, it's like 
it's it's important to like I, I think the best kind of like the long run best way to like help NFTX is to actually focus on users first because if it's like you know we're we're we already have our our our, our uh, consumer product squad you know like mm -hmm. building out and probably going to be building out for V two as well and it's like integrating NFTX into that experience is kind of like. because I think NFTX is like useful as a protocol for NFT users, I'm pretty sure it's going to make sense to integrate in there, but we have to like build for users, not NFTX. Yeah, yeah, uh, token yeah. holders. To which totally, is, totally. As yeah. many of you know, I am an NFTX token holder, mm -hmm. um, but you know, if you want to like long run success, you know, you kind yeah. of have to like put the users first there. Yeah, yeah, that makes 100%. sense. Well, is there, uh, like, there's probably a lot of other people that want to raise questions. Is there anyone that wants to use the time of Scott? <laughs> <laughs> my initial, hi, Scott. Hey. My initial question was about the difference between uh, Showtime or NFTs, for instance, that are playing on the social ground of NFTs. But I think the org aspect and decentralized is uh, something particulate. Yeah, I mean, definitely kind of like the more open, like community centric approach is one that like has, it has very significant advantages and significant disadvantages. Um, and so there are trade-offs, but I sort of like, I think it's, I think it's really easy to kind of get too far ahead like over index to competition when you have things that are still like pre uh, product market fit, pre traction, pre growth. And um, it's, it's, it, it's sort of like the most likely it's more likely that like um, all of the high quality uh, kind of projects find a differentiated spot in the market or none of them do then like one or two of them out like one out competes the other two um and i i don't i don't know for sure um that like anyone really knows like what their production product that they're going to be trying to grow um once they found product market fit looks like and so i think like um as long as people are still kind of iterating, looking for that, it's it's maybe a bit too soon to even like start thinking about like differentiation. Um, just because you know you have to have users to actually differentiate from someone else, and I, I think we're just still so early that we're still kind of in the mode where like success, um, someone else's success is actually net good for you, um, which is something mm -hmm. that I think a lot of people in like. DeFi and maybe now NFTs a bit, you kind of get so so focused on like the status games of who's like the top dog yeah. that like sometimes you forget that like, you know, like we're all in this together. No, well, yeah, I mean, but I mean at this like someday it will be like probably very cutthroat competition, but mm -hmm. you know, like for the first one, two, three years of stuff, it's you know, you're you're "Quote unquote competitor success actually probably net helps you." Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I think I think right now a big part. I think there will probably be a lot of competition around that space, uh, but right now, like a lot of it just comes down to signaling um, and like projects that have community support, uh, like ourselves, definitely gives us a bit of an advantage. Yeah, and like mm -hmm. I, I don't, I probably know some about the other projects, but I, I don't want to like. You know, I I I I feel, I feel like people are going to like kind of go after different parts of the market in the yeah. end because it's a it's going to be a different like the just like a product that's really good for showing moon cats is not the same project that's going to be really good for showing like um like if Damien Hurst does NFTs yeah you know like those are going to be different types of user flows and one 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 product could do all of it. But a product that's like specifically designed for like Damien Hurst NFTs someday or whatever is going to be have some different design decisions than like a product mm -hmm. that's best for like Mooncat fans. 
cool. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Thanks. Uh, cool. Uh, I think that mm -hmm. is everything, right? If it, like if anyone else has questions, uh, Quag, I, I believe you also question had some questions, right? Uh, yeah, but I'm there in the uh, the forum. So. I'm happy. I'm happy to wait for it to be answered. Sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, cool. Yeah, I think if if that's it, uh, we're at the end of the agenda for this governance call. So if there's any other topics, now is the time to speak up, uh, and otherwise we'll just uh, end the call here. Nobody? All good. All good. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, th so thanks for joining. Uh, next week, same day, same time. Uh, and I'll see you there. All right. Thanks, Chop. Right. Thanks, Chop. Thanks, Elf.